What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a really high-tech toy for pets. I don't know about you, but have you ever tried to play fetch with your dog? And of course, once you get started, they don't wanna stop. They just wanna go forever. I'm getting old, my rotator cuff, maybe need surgery, I don't know. Um, but after a little while, your arm gets tired, but the dog still wants to play and you hate to tell them no. You a pet sent out their electronic ball launcher, the eye retriever, for me to test out. Big shout outs to you a pet for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. Looks like we have four balls, so that's pretty cool that it comes with the balls for the ball launcher. They look like styrofoam, but they actually feel more like rubber. And let's see, they've got pretty good bounce to them as well. Here's a closer look at the ball that it comes with. We've also got a power supply. And this is the Ua Pet Eye Retriever Ball Launcher. Okay, so I can't wait. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and launch the first ball. I've got it set to 10 feet. And we hit the launch button, let's see what happens. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll take a closer look at this and then we'll go play with Luna. Um, so first up, you've got the receiver there. That's where you're gonna put the balls in the launcher to be launched. If you look in here, you can actually see the mechanism that shoots the balls out. Okay, so right inside here, you've got a couple of little wheels. These grab onto the ball and send the ball flying. On the front here, you've got a sensor. This is going to be able to detect if your dog is standing right in front of the launcher and won't launch the ball. So it's safe for kids and pets because it's actually going to avoid shooting a ball at an object standing in front of it. So that's really cool. I like that safety feature. Um, this can also rotate and shoot the ball out at different angles. So it can launch the ball from various angles. All right, on the side here, we've got a little bit of UA Pet branding. And then on the back, this is our control center. All right, so we've got lots of different options. This is battery powered, so it's totally wireless. You can carry this outside. You don't have to run an extension cord to it or anything like that. To turn this on and off, you're just gonna press and hold the button. And now it is on and ready to use. You have this button here that's called random. So what the random button does is it, it will actually launch the ball at a random angle. If your pet or a child is standing in front of the launcher, it will avoid them by uh, rotating this to a different angle. So totally safe. That's what the random button is. If you don't have it set for random, it will just launch it straight, but still it won't launch the ball if a pet or child is standing in front for safety reasons. Okay, so the random mode is going to randomly choose a launch point for the ball and it won't shoot it at me. So as long as I'm standing in front of the sensor, it's going to avoid me by changing direction. Go ahead, Kenley, let's show them how it works. Amazing. All right, so see, it, it's gonna go over to the left of me. It's not gonna shoot it at me because okay. it sees that I'm standing there. I hope you don't shoot it at the camera. And yeah, it's not gonna, I guess it's not gonna shoot it at the camera either. Yeah. All right, so see, it totally avoids me with the random mode. You have your DC port here for charging the battery. The launch button, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you press that, it's gonna launch the ball. If I wanna change the distance here, I can press this button to go 80 feet. That's about the size of a basketball court. And if I wanna change between 10, 30, and 50, I just press the on off button to cycle through those distances. Overall, this feels really nice and sturdy. It feels well built. I think it's gonna be um, pretty durable. So even if you have a really rambunctious pet, I don't think they're gonna be doing any damage to this unit. When it comes to our pets, the main thing to consider here has to be safety. So yeah, it's all fun and games to have an electronic ball launcher, but if someone gets hurt, then it's really not worth all the fun. In my opinion, the main feature of the eye retriever by Ua Pet is the time of flight sensor, which can detect if a dog or child is standing in the way, and then it avoids launching the ball until the path is clear. This way you're guaranteed to have zero accidental collisions. You don't have to worry about your child or pet getting harmed by a flying object. Another thing that really stood out about this ball launcher is the sheer distance that you can get with it. It goes up to 80 feet which is about the size of a basketball court. If you have a super energetic dog, this is a good way to get some of their energy out or to get really lots of exercise 
um, with that 80 foot launch. They also have it 10, 30, and 50 foot launches. So if you have smaller pets that still want to have a lot of fun, they do have those shorter throw distances there as well. With the 10 foot launch distance, it actually makes it suitable for indoor use as well. So if you don't have an outdoor space or you're not able to make it out to the park, you can use that 10 foot launch distance and still have fun indoors. Another thing that I really liked about the iRetriever is it does have a random mode with three different directions. So it's gonna randomly select a particular direction. This can make it less predictable for your pet as to where the ball's gonna go. And having that bit of unpredictability can really go a long way in furthering the enjoyment. This is also totally wireless. You're not gonna have to worry about running an extension cord out to it. You can put it anywhere in the yard or just take it with you. Like if you wanna to go to the beach or if you don't have room in your yard and you wanna take it to the park, you can do that. This is able to handle up to 200 launches on a single charge and in my experience it actually charged relatively quickly so if it does run out of juice you can take it back inside charge it up and you're ready for more fun in just a few hours. Overall, if you're looking for a unique way to have fun with your energetic pet and also alleviate some of that built up energy, the iRetriever from you a pet is a great option. I love the fact that they focus on safety, having that time of flight sensor out front to make sure that they're not launching a ball directly at your pet is definitely a top feature for me. And overall, we've had a great experience with the UA Pet iRetriever ball launcher. I'll be sure to leave links in the description if you want more information about the iRetriever or to purchase this, head to the links below. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.